So the floor is pretty much done at this point. All the pieces are cut, except for like the last two pieces of board, but I'm gonna wait to cut those until I get good measurements. Uh, we're just basically waiting for the glue to dry and we're laying it down in different stages. So because that project is so far along, I'm going to start a new project. And the new project that I'm gonna to start today is, I think I've told you before, that I am planning on taking the windows out of the bus because you've seen the mess that it creates on the floor, all the water that comes in, so we're taking out the windows. So that's what I'm gonna to start today. Basically, I'm gonna start with three, the first three on the back on each side. I'm gonna take them out because I also want to see how, what the process is gonna be for me to start taking the rivets out. So that's my project for today. I got my gloves. What I'm gonna try to do, we'll see if this works. I took the window out. I took all the, the uh, seal, the black seal off, put it in this bag. So we're, we'll see if that works. That definitely does not work. <laughs> I also found that those gloves that I put on, oh my. It was such a waste. The black gunk actually nearly tore my gloves off. So what I learned was to just use my bare hands. I got really dirty and I immediately washed my hands with some really heavy duty gritty soap and it came right off. Okay, those are off. Now I'm going to try to get this off. So I don't know, I'm sure it's glued down there really, really good. So. That's my next project, is to try to get that off. See how, see how that's gonna come off. Okay, so after a little bit more investigating and I had a little bit of lunch, I have learned a couple of things. I always assumed that this metal piece here lived underneath the window and you could just pull it off. That's not the case because the more I look at it, I assumed that you could just take this whole thing off but it looks like it goes up the window back here and there's rivets through it. I'm going to play with getting rivets out. It looks like that's going to be the next step, which is okay because I assumed that would be the step today. I just didn't realize that that piece of metal was connected with the rivet. So I've got the first three windows out. I did three because this piece of metal here is one piece for three windows and then there's a seam here. So that's really why I did three windows. So it's a new day. Yesterday I was struggling trying to, not struggling, it was just a day of trying to figure out how to do the rivets because I wasn't sure. And like I told you, I didn't want to scrape up the outside. So I figured it out this morning and I'm gonna show you what I did. So remember all that black gunk that's everywhere. I was having such a hard time with yesterday trying to figure out how to get rid of it. So that black gunk is right on top of the back of the rivets, rivets that I need to get loose. So what I've been doing is scraping the black, the black gunk off. I then grind the back of this rivet off. I drill it just a little bit in that hole and then punch it through and the top comes out just perfect. So here's what it looks like from the outside. See, look, they look good. They look really good, no scrapes. So I'm just gonna continue that today. I'm gonna continue grinding and drilling and <laughs> punching the rivets out. That's my project for the weekend. Many people kept telling me that what worked for them was to drill out the front and pop out the back. However, I was unwilling to do that since it would require me to stand on a high ladder and drill from the outside. I wanted to stay on the inside where I couldn't fall off of a ladder. So I created a process that works for me and you'll see in the next video that it works seamlessly. I'm so glad I experimented with so many different ways of doing this and decided on a way that works best for me. Do you see that? It's coming off. This here is finally coming off. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're making progress. So I'm back to the rivets today. Yesterday I took off and bought something very special for the bus, but I'm back at it today. Oh man, this is really gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Mostly because the black goo is so thick and 
trying to get it scraped off so that I can get to the rivet. I still don't have these first three windows done. It's gonna take longer. And I'm hoping I can get my groove down and make this go a little faster. I think I've got it. It's worked on the last three anyway, so I'll tell you what I'm doing. So the steps are this, for me right now. Cleaning off the black gunk, grinding off the back, tapping the front, and punching it through. So, crossing my fingers that that works the rest of the day. <laughs> my goal for the day to get that done and it's off and I can hardly believe it it took me three days oh my gosh let's look at it again look it's off it's off it's off it's off oh my goodness okay so I'm gonna call it a day because it is Labor Day weekend I know you're gonna be watching this much later but it's Labor Day weekend it's Sunday we are invited to a fish fry down at the lake tonight so that's what I'm gonna do. I got my goal done. I only have like three more uh, rivets I think to do, but <laughs> two of my batteries died with the grinding wheel, so I'm done for the day. I'm just done. I'm so excited though. We got so much done. We have rain in the forecast, so I wanted to make sure with so many windows out already, to get my tarp up, to get it all tied down, to get it really secured before the rain started. I think this is my second time on the roof, so I'm not really confident with where I can walk, where I can stand, but I did it. Outside, and it's storming like crazy. Actually, this is just a mild rain compared to what it was about 20 minutes ago. It was blowing so hard. There's the bus, you can see the bus. The tarp is gone. There's six windows out. Once it finally stops raining, we're gonna go outside and just kind of see what happened and maybe start to sweep some of the water out. I don't know where the tarp is. It's probably in the next county at this point. I have to see, I can't go to sleep without knowing what is happening. I'm just coming up to the bus. This is all my flooring. It's a little piece of the flooring that I'm flowing around. I know the light's not good, but I brought a flash out. Oh shoot, the door's open. Water, shoot. It's not gonna be that bad though. Maybe um, I could just turn my fan on tonight. I put these, I put this insulation down before I ended the day, this piece here, because I knew it was supposed to rain. And just in case the tarp came off, I thought it might protect it a little bit. I didn't realize it was gonna be quite the storm that we had, though. So, um, I put insulation there and then over here to kind of, because I thought it maybe it might sprinkle in. This piece of cardboard that had all my windows on it, it's soaked, so I guess now we just need to dry it out, huh? So last night we had a pretty bad storm, not just like a beautiful rainy drizzle. It was a violent storm where the house shook and the bus didn't fare very well. I mean, it's still sitting here, it didn't fly away, but anything that wasn't, well, it was tied down and it still flew away. There's the tarp. So the rain was coming in sideways. Um, here are the grommets that were on the tarp, completely ripped off. And I had a couple tools in here that I was using that were full of water. So I'm gonna try them out right now to see if they even still work. So, fingers crossed. Okay, the angle grinder survived. Let's see about this drill. These are the two that I've been using the past few days. Okay, well, there's that. After I recorded these videos, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about preparing and taking the rivets out. It's so much easier now. I also learned what works and what doesn't with the tarp, and you will see in the next video 
that I have a clever solution and so far it's been working. I didn't want to leave this video on a negative note. So I fix all these issues and in the next video you will see it. Oh, remember to like and subscribe too.